Hello and welcome to the MBS show episode number 532. I'm your host Norman Sanzo and we got some news for you this week. So let's hop right into it. So first up, new G5 blind bag set reveal in China. So blind bag returns with a brand new set reveal over the same toy and education fair earlier today with the G4 plushies. Uh, these are 20 in total with a host of different variants including poses, colors, transparency and everything else we saw from the old G4 blind bag line except uh, except them sometime or sorry, expect them sometime in the future though we have no idea when and where yet. More pictures below. So this is interesting. I don't really remember uh, seeing this back in the days, but uh, judging by the size, they're pretty big. And we have some other pictures too. I'm not 100% sure if they're the same. Uh, we posted blind bags. Okay, so they're the same. So uh, they're pretty cool for blind bags because uh, when you take a look, see at the Hasbro made blind bags, there's something akin to this. Oh no. I, I, I don't have the auto zoom, oh, sorry, auto focus on. So yeah, yeah, you have to uh, forgive me on that. But anywho, um, so uh, those were the official Hasbro versions. And then uh, you have this kind of uh, figures to yeah okay yep so you have those kind of figures too they're, they're pretty small and they're pretty chibi and whatnot and they come with accessories and so on so those were the newer lines um compared to the ball blind bags so um looking at this one uh, it seems that this is a chinese made one from a company called uh Dinosaur, which is cute, and they have more. And compared from this to uh, from the one I showed you to this, they seem to be more elaborate. They they have like accessories. Then this reminds me of um, well, um, this one. So these are uh, I would say blind bags, but they came in a box. Uh, see, where's this? Okay, cool. They came in a box like this, where you just rip the top open and you get essentially a blind box or a blind bag. And uh, this one cost me a bit of a penny and so on. But yeah, um, that's how I got the pretty nice elaborate Fluttershy one. Yeah, this is how I got that one. And judging by the one what I'm seeing here, it seems it's following the same trend too but I got no idea how many uh, or what we're gonna get inside because this looks pretty cool <coughs> so yeah um, if this is a buy box thing and you get a lot but when you take a look see we are getting a lot here so huh it, it could be random, it could be not, I, I don't know. It could be two different things. It could probably be two different things. Yeah, this, I, I'm, I'm guessing, yeah, there's two different things. Yeah, yeah, uh, the description might bring, yes. But anywho, um, <clears throat> it seems like there are two different things. So this one are probably like the classical blind bags that I showed you earlier, where you can get probably... Um, two variants of the same kind and the other one like this one they're much more higher quality version which is more expensive than your regular blind bags so yay uh, so we got a few here that are pretty cool and yeah this is similar to what i showed you but funny enough uh, the previous one this were made by a company called popmart they're chinese based i think and they have well, they have 
they they made some of it or some of uh the ponies like uh, this series um the natural series uh, they, they done a bit and they did uh one with spar days and whatnot and one with candies and this one i'm thinking is one with sleepy time or whatever it is so this are pretty fun and this is pretty nice so let's move on to the next use i think uh, give me a second if i can find it so yes uh, this is something earlier mentioned before uh lots of new plushy blind box and more appear at chinese toy and education uh, toys and Education China event. The toy event over in China called the 36th Shenzhen International Toy and Education Fair has revealed a bunch of new main six items including the plush above as humanized plush and various plush knickknacks and of all of them <coughs> are licensed under the company called Reese. Then, uh, sorry, they even have every. Uh, mm, they even. They even some giant patterns straight from NK plush and fifty kilo of hope in the fandom. Though these are only for this place. Ah, okay, so I get it. Now we low. Alright, cool, 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 cool. I think I <coughs> I think I get it now. So, let's see. You have some pretty awesome plush here. So, I'm not 100% sure what the how they're going to proceed with this, but it seems that <coughs> Toy Fair and whatnot so they're gonna show you some cool stuff and these are the cool stuff so um look just just looking at this picture <coughs> we see uh, some pony heads plush which are pretty cool and mind you this what what what, 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 hmm, what we're getting here now is pretty awesome because uh these are pretty cute on their own uh the plush keychain thingy here also cute we got some pony dolls, humanized stuff, which is cool. And desert ponies and burger ponies, th those are cute. I, w I don't mind getting those. And we got some here too. I'm thinking most of these are in the prototype phase or in the planning phase. But this, oh, so these are stress balls. Okay, okay. And then we got, uh, I think this were, uh, this were the pony keychain thingy, that, those fluffy ones. And we got the pony dessert. Oh, this is cool. The idea for them is they're still in a blind box kind of thing. Huh. Fascinating. Yeah, but this, still, this is cool. I, I wouldn't mind buying one of this. So, yeah. Um, then we got some more here, here, here. Then we got more, what's this, um, much more wider view of what they have. And this, yeah, this is what uh, they mentioned about, yeah, these are just for this place because they're too good, too good, too expensive. Yeah, and we got Sunny here. Yeah, I, I think if there's much interest in high-end plush, the company might probably do it. Probably. So yeah, there, there's something from the Chinese fair. And next one is new Lyra Bonbon bon Symbiote Plush possibly coming. These are considered un, unapproved by the licenses so far, but two new prototypes has been revealed over on Twitter by Symbiote covering Lyra in a brand new Ling post and one one. So okay, uh here's hoping they get approved for now we can just bask in the possibility possibility. Can you imagine 
if this guy started bouncing life size open wow producing life size all right cool so um checking them out sim just seems to be really on a roll uh they do stuff and but to be honest i i got no idea what's their mo when they're doing all of this because the thing is yeah you want to do plush you get the license from hasbro hasbro gives you the license to produce plush and they get a cut probably i don't know so them keep going with the main six then with um luna and i don't remember if they did celestia but they did also trixie and so on so they seem to be doing something right and their plush looks good too so i i'm guessing something works and they keep on doing it so that's awesome and if you're a plush collector uh with a, sorry uh, if you love collecting pony plushes and you don't have much income to custom make one, you can do this and this is pretty awesome too. So let's move on to the next news. New G4 My Little Pony trading card appears in China. 154 in all. So <clears throat> China is really going all in on the pony train lately, aren't they? We've got more merchandise coming from over there, starting 154 trading cards to collect of various ponies from the show in various designs. These are pretty good chance we won't see this flood the rest of the world, but at least you can look at them below. So this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Um, so let's see. Um, this is in Chinese. I don't read or speak Chinese, so uh, I have to probably mm, summarize or just probably guess. So you have SC Secret Common, Special Common, probably Ultra Rare, Super Super Rare. Super Golden Rare, Legendary Super Rare, and something Hologram probably. Holographic probably, where if you... Lenticular, yeah, where you move the card and the picture changes. It's probably that because it's showing here that, hey look, they're both... Uh, they're uh, giving each other bro hoof and when you move the card a bit, they show another picture which is them going eye to eye so that's probably what they're doing and it's being sold in a box with this so we got no idea how many packs so what we all know is or what they're telling us is that there's 154 cards in total and <clears throat> let's go in deeper so i'm guessing these are the art this and so on okay so I see okay um they're showing us that okay so these are some of the cards that you'll be getting in a much zoom out uh, zoom in version of what they showed us in this poster so we got what uh green chrysalis firefly and what's your name again Vapor Trails. So there's English names on one side and there's Chinese name on the others. So that's pretty fascinating too because it's clearly clearly that this might not be available in the global market. This is something local for China and probably Hong Kong and so on, probably whoever's interested. So that's pretty fascinating and you can see that they put socks and whatnot. I mean, these are just costumes for the cards showing how rare they are. And, and honestly, I got no idea. But this one, this is pretty cool with how the art looks like. And these are arts that I don't think I've seen before. Probably uh, what uh, Spike here is, 
a re-render of one of the shows, this one too, this one probably redrawn, this one too. I, I don't know. But this looks pretty cool. So as we move on we see oh more artists, more art, more pretty pretty awesome art, to say the least. And we get this. Okay now let's see at the box what we get here. Ten packs, really? <laughs> so from what I am in this from from what I'm guessing here is that in a box there's ten packs, in a pack there's they didn't really show how many cards are in a pack. But in all honesty these are just <coughs> uh these are just um collectible trading cards. They're they're not um what was it again? Um C C uh trading card games. Yeah they're not trading card games but they're more collector cards. Like you like baseball cards or basketball cards. You open a pack, you look at a picture, you keep it, you get extra, you trade it with your friends to get whatever you don't have, and so on. And there are some pretty awesome cards here. And this is this is nice too. Yeah, a, a lot of the art really looks nice. And one of the few things that you can really get, or just, how is it? One of the few things that you want them or you want to collect them is just because of the art it looks really good and the card form and for some people who play trading card games you can use them as tokens to represent something on the board if other card games do that too I know magic does that a lot so let's move on to the next news <clears throat> all right so from one collecting to another Funko continues NFC, NFT nonsense with more pony figures for what I have a reason Funko has continued their NFT concept for future figures with other lineup following the one that released in 2022. Honestly, I thought the entire concept died off, but here we are. The new toy includes Princess Twilight, Daybreak, Applejack, and King Sombra. Images below. So yeah, oh boy, joy. Alright, uh, a few things here. Okay, let, 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 let's see. New toys include. So as we go into Funko's official website, we see that. Yo, um, these are the figures and they come with digital cards and why not collect digital, land a physical, oh, okay, that's... <sighs> so... Oh my goodness, I can't even... This is just a nightmare, y'all. Mm. All right, so from what I understand, you buy a digital pack for about $11.60 and you get five items in a pack. If you buy the premium pack, which is costing you $31.90, sense you'll get 17 items and you can get random stuff these are some of the past things you know this is just dumb and I, I, I can tell you I, I collect Magic the Gathering cards I, I buy packs I buy singles I, I, I trade I, 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 I just I, I collect, but this year, this year is the epitome of what's even the point? With Funko and putting aside 
how fun girls are ugly and they are a waste of plastic. Putting that aside, when you buy a Funko, at least you get a physical product that you can hold in your hand and put them for display or whatnot. But this, this is, this is nothing. You're, you're essentially buying digital nonsense. You're, you're just wasting money on digital nonsense that you can't really do anything with it. And don't get, don't even get me on started on NFTs where they are essentially useless and worthless. Granted, granted that Magic the Gathering cards are overly expensive for no good reason. Yeah, but it's the thing that if both party agrees that this card is worth $10, then you give me 10 bucks, I give you a card. At least you get a physical product out of it. With this, this digital sombra, which is metallic, and this is one of those things where are they variants on this? Like, it says here, oh, it's a pop digital thingy. Okay, so maybe it's a pop digital thingy. And it glows in the dark and it's metallic. I've seen Funko Pops where <coughs> you have the two same versions. One is plastic, one is plastic plus felt. Or it glows in the dark. Or it's wearing a different clove. And me, by me just saying that, there's already three or four variants. So this one, King Sombra, probably he has what? Uh, three variants? So you're trying to crack open the pack, those packs that you bought digitally and you don't get, and you crack open just to get all the complete set, and then like you spend probably about 100, 200 bucks just to get three variants of a King Sombra that you can't even sell off to. Probably you can, but oh god, this is just dumb. I'm disappointed, and th th this is just ugh. Ugh. Hasbro's legal team is back on YouTube. Take it down, bandwagon. Oh, God. It seems even after a decade of YouTube airing people's pony content, Hasbro is still the chaotic entity it always has been when it comes to what it, uh, what is and isn't allowed for ponies. This time around, they have been multi uh, multiple high-profile takedowns, all with a few similar creators, DWK, Little Shy Fim, and Tridashi, have all been targeted, with several videos over DWK's channel being uh, getting the boot, all with crazy situations where one of Tridashi's video uh, YouTube poop have uh, was removed followed by little shy film getting an actual copyright takedown for featuring the video in the usual top 10 pony videos uh, we've posted for years when appeal has bro straight up rejected it and refused to respond with anything at all strikes aren't usually uh, strikes aren't usually taken down either three of those and the channel is basically gone. Many channels have started monitoring content elsewhere like PonyTube and even Chinese site Bilibili uh, which tried as she de uh, detailed in his recent release. Unfortunately, all we can really do is wait and see where this goes. It could be staff's swap in internal at Hasbro trying to prove themselves a company automated system and considering how AI happy corporations are getting this wouldn't be surprising or simply an error feel free to drop your theories down below so this is disappointing especially for uh, creators like DWK and Tridashi and uh, little shy FIM film. So, from what I can understand, 
this is Hasbro trying to protect their copyright and whatnot, which I understand you have to. If not, you lose your copyright and a lot of bad things happen. But with DWK, Tridashi, and even with little little shy FIM uh, film, from I'm I'm not familiar with uh, little shy, but I am familiar with DWKs and Tridashi's uh, content, and they're. Their content are mostly transform transformative, uh, with uh, DWK being more of a parody thing where uh, him doing all the voices for the characters and trying to do a roundabout synopsis of the situations going on with the episode and so on. And Tridashi is mostly editing stuff to make stuff funny and so on. So for them to get taken down that's kind of ridiculous and for little shy their video is mostly lists or top 10 things highlighting the best of the best from the community over the month and so on so that is also transformative or informative some kind so, getting their video taken down by Hasbro in this manner is a bit of a crapshoot. But, people who re-upload the episodes, and here's another reason why that sucks too, is that, yes, uh, people who upload episodes, full episodes onto YouTube is a bit of a sore spot on Hasbro's bottom line because, hey, we want, uh, we're protecting our copyright and we want our money and so on but if it's not available online legally officially how can someone go watch pony episodes i'm trying to remember probably there's episodes up on their official youtube account but i don't remember and looking through their whole youtube gallery of videos it's not the easiest place to find what you want. They just drop everything down and putting uploading and uploading videos constantly just to stuff. I, I don't know what they're even trying to do. So yeah, that's very annoying on their end and yeah, no. So um still on the YouTubes and whatnot, but on a much happier note. Official DJ Poon 3 Cafeteria Song Remix Release Back in March, we announced an upcoming DJ Poon 3 uh, teaser release on Genius It looks like it... Sorry It looks like this is finally the thing We've got the Hyper Pop Remix of the Cafeteria Song Along with the remix of Equestria Girls below official release uh, officially released go check them out I check them out it's a pretty fun song if you're into the EDM and remix scene I personally prefer the original but this is okay too but yeah um pretty interesting where they're uploading and whatnot yeah to be honest, I got no idea why even on this channel. Yeah, no idea. Move on, moving on. <clears throat> Full scores for My Little Pony Make Your Mark released May 8th. Uh, for all the music fans out there, Make Your Mark is apparently getting a big release next month on the 8th of May. You can pick up complete scores for it which is pretty extensive considering how musical it uh, it is it all it is uh, we will get links up once it's available as always and it's expected to be released on digital outlets so yay this this is fun me ate every pony of uh, the fantastic, epic, and adorable My Little Pony Make Your Mark scores is released. Big congrats to Sean James Boyer and Benjamin 
So, he, um, so for you guys who got no idea what this is, this is the background music for Make Your Marks. And having them released like this is pretty cool. And yeah, I, I see it's pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. So, back in the days with G4, we didn't have this. We, we didn't have this collection of background songs that are available. Like, if we want to get background songs, what we would have done or what the uh, creative person would have done is they would take the episodes, they would put it into an editor and remove all the voices from the show and extract the background music and uh, convert them into an mp3 and upload it online which is pretty cool and funny enough the show did, did use some of the background music from the um, what you call this from the show earlier in its life which is pretty cool and man uh, now that we're getting an official release that's pretty cool so um if it's available online and it's available on digital outlets iTunes music Spotify YouTube wherever it's available and if you want to buy it or get a digital license for it probably what um, iTunes and so on uh, the price is going to be a bit hefty than your regular ten dollars per album probably sorry for, for the whole thing uh, probably you're gonna pay about thirty dollars for everything give or take and that's because uh, well it's a lot also this is mostly background music where it's catered to a special kind of customer so yeah I, I can't wait to check this out and see how that's gonna be so moving on to the last one G5 hot chocolate and marshmallow drinks appear in Russia from Spar Kids uh, we continue with sorry we continue the phase of G5 that G4 went through where ponies are slapped onto absolutely everything I don't know what this has to do with colorful egg points other than that uh, that the box art but I guess you can channel your inner easy while consuming this uh, hot chocolate marshmallow drinks cool and yes Seth I'm just guessing they're slapping ponies onto drinks so they can attract kids I don't know but this looks fun and in all honesty um, over here in Malaysia I've seen um, marshmallow, um, just mar just marshmallow where they have ponies on the front and it's just that or some kind of candy or sweets and so on and there's ponies on it and the inner person in me, the, the inner brony in me would, would say oh that's so cool and so on but remembering that huh I don't consume that much sweet I'm an old man. I don't like sweets. So yeah, I, I, I haven't really bought it. But this one looks pretty cool. You, you, from the packaging here, from what I can see, so from what I can see there, it says you get a ball, it's made of chocolate, put in your milk, put in hot, hot milk, drop the chocolate in there, it'll melt, you can mix them together and you can put marshmallows on top. Yay! So that's that's much fun. So let's wrap things up with the next news or the next topic actually. So next topic is what have I been doing with my week? So my week has been really 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 stupidly busy with work life and yeah um, recently we had a holiday um, a little tree where I think I talk, told you about it before, so yeah, uh, we, we had LDP3 and a lot of, uh, since it's a national holiday, did, did that, 
relax a bit and so on, family and friends and so on, yeah. But besides that, been really busy and have been... Uh, a, a lot of things happen. A, lo a lot of things happen in between this and that. So, I I'm not going to go really in depth, but it involves a family member and that has taken how how to put it that that has been making my uh, I'm trying to find the proper phrase here but that has gotten me a bit sidetracked for a bit so I have to kind of play it by ear and be busy yeah but <sighs> managed to do this for now since I got um, well, how do I put this? Since I got some free time on my hand now. But, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to do better, but with how erratic my schedule is, sorry, sporadic, sporadic my schedule is, and unstable my timing can be, uh, so I'm just gonna play it by ear and do whatever I can. So, anywho, let's wrap it up. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dmbshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And links are in the show notes below. So um, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. And talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank <coughs> uh, Jacob, Lucky Knight, and also Master of Light. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the VS Show. See ya.